Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to another Dollar Tree video. This time I'm sharing 20 ways you can decorate for fall using Dollar Tree supplies. All these DIYs are easy to do. They're budget friendly and they look great. And with all that said, we're getting started right now. For this first idea, all you have to do is go to Dollar Tree and pick up a pack of their fall table scatter or harvest decor. These are little pumpkins. They come in a pack of 12. And then if you grab any one of Dollar Tree's glass containers, you can hot glue your pumpkin to the lid. Optional, add a bow. And that is it. You can paint these lids whatever color your heart desires. This works great for coffee, candy, hot cocoa. This even works great for Halloween. The only thing I do want to mention is make sure if you are going to put food in these, don't spray the inside of the lid, only the outside that doesn't get touched by the actual jar or food. But the fun doesn't stop there. You can also use any candle with a lid that you already have on hand. So any everyday candle and do the same thing for just a subtle fall decor, add it to your home. You don't have to move anything around. Use something like a candle that you already have and add a bit of fall touch to it. If you're wanting some easy outdoor fall decor, well, then I think this next idea is for you. All you have to do is pick up your first or last initial from Dollar Tree. And if you cannot find your first or last initial at Dollar Tree, check Walmart. They also sell the same size letters, which is two and a half to three inches for a very similar price. Grab one of Dollar Tree's metal garden stakes. All you got to do is glue that letter to the middle of that stake. Now, these stakes do come with a raffia bow already glued to it. Or is it raffia? 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 I don't know. I say raffia, but if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Some words you only read and you don't know exactly how to say them. Anyways, pull that bow off and you can layer it up with a ribbon of your choice. And I think this makes a beautiful outdoor garden stake. This is the one I made for myself. I really love traditional fall colors. I can't get away from like the burnt oranges and the browns and the creams. But we do have another option, my friends. You can also do the same thing using Dollar Tree's rub-on transfer letters. You can spell out your entire last name or write the word welcome, the Smith family. Whatever your heart desires, you can spell out a word using the rub-on transfer letters. I did everything the same with this DIY. The only difference is I sealed it with clear spray paint to keep the rub-on transfer letters from rubbing off, and I hot glued a pine cone to the middle. I made this one for my neighbor. She loved it. She has more of that neutral fall style, and I love that she loved it. But if you're looking for something that is more you can use it year round, more functional, I guess I'll say, then this DIY is for you. All you need to do is pick up one of Dollar Tree's garden dishes, pick up some strong hold glue like gel super glue and any one of Dollar Tree's planters. Glue those together and then paint that the color of your choice. After that, you're pretty much done. I mean, you can use this year round, but for fall, let's snazz this up with a few fall florals and then add a glass hurricane vase to the middle and call it a day. Now, I love this DIY. I will use this DIY and I have used these DIYs year round. I think it's even better if you want to make two of them, one shorter than the other. For the shorter one, I used an old candle jar that was emptied out. I washed it out and hot glued that to the bottom. And this is a beautiful centerpiece. You could also do this with pumpkins or for the non-fall seasons, just use everyday florals or fill it with some type of decorative balls. I love this DIY. This will be no shocker to you if you have watched my channel before. Number four is going to be a wreath, but it's the easiest wreath you can ever make. I love me a good wreath, especially a nice, beautiful wreath that's easy to make. You just need 10 to 15 of Dollar Tree's branches. The amount you need will depend on the style you pick up. And then you're going to stab that into one of their willow wreaths. No hot glue is needed for this DIY. Just make sure you fluff your wreath. I promise you it makes the world of a difference. And there you go. Within five, 10 minutes, you have a beautiful fall wreath. And for this wreath, I mocked it after a wreath I saw at Kirkland's for like $59. They had a forsythia wreath. I think mine's look really similar for less than 20. This idea is my most proud DIY I made for fall because of the way it turns out. So just snatch up one of Dollar Tree's clear glass coffee mugs, glue a wick to the middle, and then snatch up some of their pumpkin spice. And while you're there, go ahead and pick up two to three white candles. 
Now, if you're like me and you have a bunch of almost burnt down candles at home, you can skip that last step and just use the candles you already have, as long as they're a white or cream color. Fill up your mug three fourths of the way full with white wax. And then while that's cooling, take the remaining wax and add a boatload of pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice is going to make your wax a brown cream color. It's also going to make your entire home smell amazing, I promise you. And then for looks, you're going to add a little bit of pumpkin spice to the top. And that is it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we are finished. I was so happy with the way this candle turned out. I'm still happy with the way this candle turned out. Not only does it look awesome, it smells amazing. And I'm really proud how close I came to my Inspiration Coffees. So if you're wondering, here are the two screenshots I took on my phone of Inspiration Coffees I wanted to recreate. I love the way this turned out. A lot of times Dollar Tree will sell like really cheap decor that I feel like gets looked over or not bought except for very special occasions. The luau skirts are one of those items. Those are great for fall. So pick up a luau skirt, a pack of their decorative corn, and then two to three fall picks. By the way, if Dollar Tree doesn't have what you're looking for, a lot of times Walmart's just the better price anyway. So check out Walmart, okay? Then Cut off a piece of your luau skirt, tie that into a loop. So you still have like a whole bunch of luau skirt to use for fall. Instead of hot glue, I suggest using zip ties to connect everything together for this DIY because the corn pieces are super heavy. So we're making a fall swag that you can use indoors or outdoors. You can use it under your lamppost. And to hang it, you can use one of Dollar Tree's garden hooks and then loop that through the loop we tied at the beginning and it works just fine. But this would also work great if you want to use this instead of a wreath for your outdoor front door. <laughs> of course, your outdoor front door. And for your outdoor spaces. But this is customizable. So if you don't like the colors, change it up. That's the fun thing about DIYs. You can make it exactly how you want it in the colors that you want. The Tumbling Tower game sold at Dollar Tree. I feel like it gets a lot of hate in the DIY community because a lot of DIYs, I'm guilty of this, that have been made out of these Tumbling Tower games can be made cheaper and easier just buying wood for like $2 at Home Depot. This is not one of those DIYs I want to add. You just need one pack of Tumbling Tower games, glue two of their Jenga pieces together using wood glue, and you're going to make the letters F. L. L. You will have a bunch of Tumbling Tower game pieces left over. So you could even make your letters larger if you wanted to. Then use tacky glue, Mod Podge, or you could even use wood glue to attach fabric to the top of your wood pieces so they don't look like Tumbling Tower pieces glued together. So I used burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree, and this is what that looked like for my A, because if you haven't guessed, we're spelling the word fall. I used one of DT's leaf cutouts. And to hang this outside, I used their strong permanent mounting tape. This stayed up all season. In fact, to remove it, I had to use Goo Gone, which it wasn't too hard. A little bit of elbow grease. We were good to go. And I love the way this looks. Now, if you are a skilled carpenter, you could definitely make this easier with some wood cutting tools, the FLL. But I think for the everyday crafter, using the Tumbling Tower game totally makes sense. This next idea is beautiful and it can be used in so many ways. Pick up some of Dollar Tree's leaves. I suggest maple leaves because they're fuller and more thick. You'll get more bang for your buck and then paint them gold. I'm using spray paint. You don't have to use spray paint. In fact, acrylic paint works for this. You just need to give one thin coat. You want the oranges and the reds to still slightly show through. Then pick up one of Dollar Tree's wreath forms, cut that down. You're going to be using the smallest center ring. You only need 7 to 11 at max of Dollar Tree's leaf picks. And you're going to place that around your ring. And then once you have it in place, kind of visually where you want it, use some floral tape to tape it all together. Once again, make sure you fluff your wreath. And bada bing, bada boom, we have a gorgeous high class looking wreath. Now, my inspiration for this was from Target. I saw a golden 
wreath with different kind of oranges and red undertones. I loved the way it looked. So I made one myself. And the time I made this, it only cost me $12. I know Dollar Tree prices have went up. I'm not great at math. So it would still be under $16. But feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Okay, y'all. This is something that can be, that this technique can be used year round. And I love the way it turned out. So last year when I was looking for fall tablescapes, I went to Google Images, searched all kinds of beautiful fall tablescapes, got some great inspiration. The only thing I wasn't digging was how many items were down the middle of the table. We use our dining room table and moving everything to eat just sounded like the opposite of a good time to me. So to fix that, you just need to pick up two of Dollar Tree's Beware signs or any one of their larger MDF signs, glue those together with some craft sticks, pick up some pop sticker tape from Dollar Tree, and then a few fall florals. You can use Dollar Tree pumpkins or Walmart's 98 cent smaller pumpkins. But I just want to let you know for this DIY, the finished product, I did use Walmart's $6 pumpkins. These have been the same price and I'm hoping they're the same price this year, but they've been like $5.98 for the past three or four years. And I have about 12 of them that I use all throughout my home every single year and I, I love them. Now, the point of this is you use the pop tape so nothing is permanent, but it's a strong enough hold to where you can move your centerpiece if you need to clean your table or if you need to eat around your table and then you're not ruining the items you have. So next year I can change out or this year I can change out the floral leaves if I want to, or I can rearrange the pumpkins if I want to. And it's just so much more practical to me. It's one of my favorite DIY decorating tip slash hack ideas. And I love the way it turned out. And if you're still here, you're the real MVP. You've also made it to number 10, which means we are halfway through this video. Now for this DIY, you only need the smallest piece of a pool noodle, which can be found at Dollar Tree or Walmart. Walmart's usually cheaper. And also check out Dollar General. Then a planter. You're going to cut your pool noodle down to the size of your planter, hot glue the pool noodle to the bottom of your planter. Then you want to grab about eight floral picks or leaf picks from Dollar Tree. And then also while you're there, go ahead and snatch up a toy foam ball. This is not the inflatable ball. So you cannot pop this ball. It's squishy. If you poke it with a barbecue skewer, it's not going to pop. Paint that the same color as your leaf picks or about the same color. So the leaf stems are roughly like a gray black color. So paint them that color. Glue that ball to the top of the pool noodle and then cut down all the pieces of your leaf picks. You're going to start stabbing your leaf picks into your toy foam ball. You're going to put them about an inch and a half to all the way up to two inches apart. So when you're putting this together, I do want to let you know, it's going to seem like you need more floral picks. You don't. Just step back because from a distance, you won't be able to see the holes. So right now I'm about, I don't know, six to eight inches away from this fall topiary and you can see holes, but when you step back, you can't. And if you're wondering why we painted the ball black and not pink or white, it's because you want to match the stems. It gives it more dimension. Sometimes Dollar Tree will sell items that are almost nice looking, kind of like this leaf ball. I like the shape, not digging the color, but a quick coat of paint will change almost anything. In fact, it makes a drastic change. Paint it whatever color goes with your style. I like matte black or even a gloss paint black, and it looks amazing. Use it as a candy bowl or a little trinket decorative dish. Pottery Barn will sell the same thing for about $30, and this is so much cheaper. Every year, Dollar Tree sells these create your own ornament cutouts. Sometimes they're in eight packs or five packs. These are a staple at Dollar Tree. A simple way to use these is also pick up a shadow box from the old ET, and then paint your leaf the same color or a coordinating color to your shadow box. Hot glue that to the middle. And with under five minutes, you have a brand new fall DIY decor. A DIY that doesn't look like a DIY. Hobby Lobby and Target will sell this for like $6. But if you buy those leaf pieces from Dollar Tree, 
you can make that and you have a bunch of pieces left over. So with your leftover, create your own ornament pieces. You can sketch your initial and then add that to some beaded garland or string up some beads to make a tassel or a bookmark. And I think the most obvious way to use your leaf pieces is to make a garland, which I think is a no-fail idea. I did this a few years ago. I use this leaf garland every year. I love the way it looks. Window clings at Dollar Tree are a staple. They sell these for Christmas or fall or summertime. They sell them pretty much for every season and every holiday. Now, the great thing about window clings is they'll stick to anything that has a smooth surface with just a little bit of water. And when you put it on, you cannot tell where your item ends and the window cling begins. And another great thing is these are not stickers. So just in case you didn't know, these do not have a sticky adhesive on the back. So it's a no mess pull off. You can use anything you already have within your home. So candles or coffee mugs or charger plates, salt and pepper shakers, utensil holders. You can turn anything into a seasonal item or a fall item with no mess and pretty much no money. For $1.25, you can turn everything into a fall decor piece. There's also a bunch of really cool DIYs on YouTube from other DIYers where they use those window clings in very creative and cool ways. Decorating for fall does not mean decorating with pumpkins and leaves. You can decorate for fall just by using fall colors. And a simple way to do that is just to pick up two glass bowls, glue those together using gel super glue or E6000. Paint your bowls a base color. I chose cream or off-white. And then you want to tape off the top and paint that a fall color color. Fall color. <laughs> I can't speak. Forgive me. A fall color. So like brown or orange or whatever your fall color scheme is, paint it that color. And that's it. Then just like in one of the first DIYs, you can add some wicks and you can add some wax. And now you have a nice fall candle. Another option is to pick up some of Walmart stone spray paint. This spray paint is a little pricey, but one can will last you forever. I picked up this can over a year ago. I'm still using it. You only need to do two or three quick sprays per project and it has a great effect. So I made two of these candles. One I used brown on the top and the other I used orange. I also used two heights of candles just because I like that different height the way it looks. This screams fall to me without screaming fall with pumpkins or words that say fall. You know what I'm saying? I love the way this looks. Now, while we're on the topic of decorating for fall without screaming fall with pumpkins or words, if you want a high-end look and you want to use Dollar Tree products, which can be an oxymoron, I know, pick three to five colors and then pick up those colors with your favorite paint. So I like spray paint. I use spray paint. You can hand paint. The moral of the story is use whatever paint your heart desires, but you can use Dollar Tree pumpkins or Walmart pumpkins or any cheap item that you find at Dollar Tree or Walmart that's almost perfect or you like the shape but not the color. Or even if you find some pumpkins that you do love the color, painting them three to five colors will make a world of a difference. A cohesive color scheme really elevates the look, especially with Dollar Tree smaller pumpkins for vase fillers, or you can put them in a decorative bowl, fill up some hurricane vases or jars or a dough bowl to make as a centerpiece. This really looks high end and it's very low cost. Now, this next idea is something I've seen on TikTok. You may have seen it too, and I had to try it out. Just grab one of these trick-or-treat buckets. I I guess they are trick-or-treat bins. The cheap plastic pumpkin buckets. Cut out just the back part, and then you want to fit the top to match your outdoor light. So I went outside and kind of twisted the handle so it would ideally fit over my light. Zip tied that, hot glued it, put it over my light to make sure it would have a snug fit. And then I'm going to be totally honest, during the day, I was very underwhelmed. I mean, it was nothing to look at while the sun was still out. But at night, this was amazing. I loved the way it looked. So what I ended up doing was only putting this out at night. And this is perfect for trick-or-treaters to let them know I'm still open for business. I still have candy. And if you're someone who is really into Halloween ideas, I mean, this could use 
be used for fall too. Pick up two to three of these smaller ornaments. What you're going to do is you're going to cut the top off where you would hang the ornament and then you want to use your hot glue gun and that's hot enough to melt through the bottom. So we kind of made it into a bead or we did make this into a bead. Do that to all your little ornaments. Then pick up a larger embroidery needle or maybe a hair sewing needle. String up some twine or yarn and you're going to make a garland. Set that to the side. Then go ahead and snatch up some of Crafter Square's bats. And while you're at the old DT, go ahead and snatch up some of their foam mounting tape and a creepy cloth. Now the foam mounting tape is a great way to hang anything indoors or outdoors on your walls, in my opinion. I love it. It's super glue brand tape. And so I think it works amazing. And you can throw all this together on your mantle or you can do this outside. I threw a Halloween party last year. Loved the way this looked. But I do know a lot of people will decorate for Halloween more than just party or I do decorate outdoors. So that'll work great outdoors too. Just the same. This next idea is it's something else that can be used for fall or for Halloween. Grab a wreath form, spray paint it black, and pick up only five of their Halloween branches, the black Halloween branches. They do sell these branches for fall. So it, let's say you picked up the fall branches and they come in maroon or burgundy, orange or brown, you would paint your wreath that same color too. And then just like the first wreath we made in this video, no hot glue is needed. Just stab it into your wreath form and that's it, my friend. I made another one, actually made two. So I made one for me and one for another neighbor. She wanted a bow. I added a bow. Both are cute. I love the simple, whimsical type of wreaths. That's my jam. If you're a regular Dollar Tree shopper, you've probably heard or seen the coveted doormats for fall or Christmas. These are great in theory, but they are so wimpy in reality. They're very small. I love the way they look. They just need that extra oomph. And to give them that, all you have to do is pick up two more of Dollar Tree's doormats. They can be their everyday doormats. It doesn't matter what they say on the front. They just need to match on the back. Duct tape them together, and then you can add some doormat grip, or I like to use shelf liner. It's cheaper, and it works just the same. Hot glue that on the front, which is now our back. Now, for this doormat, I just used duct tape and taped... Uh, vertical, yeah, vertical lines all the way down and then spray painted that to give a striped type of look. That's it. This is what it looks like when it's done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So here's our doormat before. Here it is after. But the cool thing is, look, y'all, this doormat or underlayment doormat can be used year round. So if you already have a fall doormat or an everyday doormat, do this. This works great. I made this last year and I actually haven't changed it out since. I have removed the pumpkins, but I didn't change like the welcome part. And you've made it to number 20, where we are making a really cool trick or treat bag slash Halloween door hanger. It works for both. Pick up one of Dollar Tree's trick or treat bags and some of their witch's feet. Cut that from the ring that it comes with and then stuff that with a pool noodle or even plastic, you know, trash bags or plastic grocery bags you'll get from Kroger or Walmart. Just something to fill it up. Then hot glue that to the bottom. Bada bing, bada boom. You have the coolest trick or treat bag on the street for your child or for yourself. Uh, my grandma, funny story, not funny story, but nostalgic story. My grandma actually made some of these kind of similar for my sister and I. We love them. I still have mine, but mine's personalized. She stitched my name into it. Now, if you want to make something more for a door hanger, you can do the same idea with some of their trick-or-treat bags and then pick up some of their mesh Halloween ribbon. Tie your mesh ribbon to one strand of mesh ribbon or yarn or anything. It doesn't really matter. And then tie that strand that you tied all the other strands to, to your bag. I'm not sure my words made sense. I know you saw what I was doing. This would also be a really cool trick-or-treat bag or a really cool door hanger. Now, just because this video is over doesn't mean the fall fun has to be over. In fact, I have an entire fall playlist on my channel. And if you have not seen my top 20 fall DIYs from last year, I'll have that linked in the description below. Now, if you're still here, you are the for real, for real, real MVP. You're amazing. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Second of all, if you're still here, go ahead, 
Let me know what do you want to see this fall? What type of DIYs are you into? You can even let me know what you want to see this Christmas. I'm interested to know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time, my friend.